What's going on, YouTube? I am Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and fragrance channel, man. If you're into fashion and fragrance, I think you've stumbled upon the right channel. I hope you won't mind hitting that little subscribe button down there in the corner, man, and enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content, YouTube will notify you that I've uploaded some content within the next 24 to 48 months. <laughs> All right, now I know it's not that bad, but soon, hopefully, they'll notify you if you enable the notifications that a video's been uploaded on this channel. So on today's video, guys, we're going to be jumping into 10 fragrances that I think that are perfect for a date night. Now, I've said before on this channel, typically, I don't care about that whole idea or mindset that some people have about wearing a fragrance that her ex-boyfriend used to wear or wearing a fragrance that a lot of people wear. It's because at the end of the day, I've said it before, I've said it again, ultimately, there's only one you. And my motto is nobody can rock a fragrance like I want to rock it because we're not going to be dressed the same. Our body chemistries are different, et cetera, et cetera. But in this particular case, especially a first date, I will make an exception and I will stick to that particular rule or that mindset. I don't want to wear anything or wouldn't want to wear anything on a date or especially a first date that is super popular because more than likely, you want to smell like somebody that she's coming to contact with before. So, no. Dior Sauvage is not on this list. Blue de Chanel is not on this list. Although great signature scents, great for date nights. Uh, in general, they would probably smell good to whoever you come into contact with. You would probably run the risk of smelling like somebody she's known in her past. And guys, we all know that might not be a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the intro and I'm gonna give you guys 10, perfect 10 out of 10 date night fragrances. If you wanna see what's on the list, you know how we rock. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. The first fragrance, guys, and let me say this. I actually got this one from Twisted Lily. I always talk about Twisted Lily, guys, because it is a great place to get fragrances, all right? A lot of the fragrances that they have, you can buy full bottles, but I love the fact that you can actually, actually sample these fragrances first. I'm going to link it down below if you want to check out uh, any of the fragrances they have at Twisted Lily on this list, or of course, if you just want to browse for yourself and save and use the discount, make sure you head over to Twisted Lily and do so. But this first fragrance is from a brand that I haven't talked about before on the channel, and it's called Atelier Matetti. And this fragrance is called Cacao Porcelana. Cacao Porcelana, talk about something unique that she's never smelled before because a lot of you haven't smelled this fragrance before. But this fragrance is really, really like 10 out of 10 appropriate for a date night because it's sexy, it's alluring, and it's very, very different. You have these notes in here. You have Cacao Pod, you have uh, Immortel, uh, you actually have some, uh, of course, on the dry down, some taco beans, some sandalwood. So you would think that it's really, really sweet and creamy, which it is, but that sweetness and creaminess is kind of balanced really well in this scent by a note of Divana. And that Divana in this fragrance really gives this kind of bitter, almost green herbal nuance to this fragrance. So it neutralizes the sweeter, more syrupy kind of elements of this fragrance and makes it, you know, well, keeps it from being overly sweet, if that makes sense. And this is perfect for a date night. Again, this is something, guys, you need to get your nose on. I was blown away when I smelled this stuff. And again, it's from a house that not a lot of people are talking about, so you're definitely going to smell unique. It's from the house of Atelier Matari. I just want to say it that way, Matari. And this one is called Cacao Porcelana. All right, guys, this next fragrance, man. Look, this is one of those fragrances you can wear regardless of what the date night setting is going to be. You can go all the way from more of a sophisticated, uh, sophisticated uh, type of outing where you have to wear at least business casual on down to just wearing whatever you want to wear in a very casual setting like a movie. This thing is going to transcend all settings. It's from the house of Electimus and this is called Vixir. 
Big Sear. Now you've heard me talk about this fragrance before because it smells a lot like uh, one of my favorite fragrances. And that's from Boulder City of Victoria's, which is Valiant. Citruses, very creamy. Citruses, florals, and that sandalwood on the dry down. That's really what this fragrance is about. And you really can never go wrong with this kind of scent DNA. It's kind of like in the same ballpark that I would put a fragrance like Original Santal or something like that, where you get the sweetness, the creaminess as well. And then you have like this freshness to the fragrance. Really can't go wrong with those kind of scent profiles because regardless of who you're on a date with, you're more than likely at some point in time doing the development of this fragrance to really catch your attention. So check this one out. It's from the house of Electimus. This is called Big Sear. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from the only designer fragrance brand on the list. And uh, it's from the house of Christian Dior. And this is Dior Homme Intense. Dior Homme Intense. Now, uh, this one, very, very sexy, seductive fragrance. You have this chocolatey cacao thing going on in this fragrance, of course, in that very infamous uh, note of iris. This is one of the most seductive, alluring fragrances that you're going to find in the designer range, okay? Now, of course we know about Dolce & Gabbana the one or the Parfum, but you guys have all heard about that one, so I did not include that on this list. But to me, this is kind of a sleeper. You know, a lot of those other fragrance brands, again, and a lot of those very popular fragrances that I mentioned before, the Dior Sauvages and Blue Chanel's of the world, a lot of guys are gonna be wearing that. And again, she's probably smelled somebody that has smelled like that, but not this. So check this out. Again, you cannot go wrong with this scent on a date. It is super sexy. It's from the house of Christian Dior. This is the original Dior Homme Intense. All right, guys, this next fragrance, listen, be careful wearing this one, fellas. Be careful. She might try to take a bite out of your arm or your neck or wherever you apply this fragrance because this thing is super sexy. It's sweet. It's seductive. It is from the house of, well, the house of Oud, and this one is called Dates Delight. Dates Delight, and my God, is this stuff amazing. Oh, man, what the, could I compare this to, man? Just think about, you know, I talk, made a fragrance video uh, about a week ago about fragrances that kind of smell like apple pie. Now, this doesn't smell like apple pie, but this is kind of a scent, a scent profile that will remind you of those kind of fragrances because it's really, really sweet, but there's this kind of smoky, seduct uh, seductive nature about this fragrance as well but you got caramel in here you have tonka bean you have vanilla you have cinnamon and obviously you have the note of dates which to me kind of comes off almost like almonds but a little bit sweeter but this stuff is absolutely phenomenal this is phenomenal man this is one of those where when you're going to be uh, like close encounter type situation this is something that you want to have in your arsenal man and again nobody's going to smell like this so check it out it's from the house of oud and this is called dates delight all right you always got to have a fragrance that is very appropriate uh it's like one of those fresh fragrances just fresh clean and mass appealing but of course because we're not going to do a dior sauvage we're going to do this one from the house of louis vuitton this is called la mansate la mansate and simply put guys without going into a whole lot of details this is just one of those fragrance dnas that is just going to work I, I doubt that there's anybody in the world uh, that will smell this and not like this scent DNA. It's, it's just that mass appealing and is that good and it's perfect for a date night because it's, regardless of who you go out with, I'm sure this is going to be inoffensive. It's going to be inoffensive and more than likely they're going to really love the way you smell. Ginger uh, in this, you have some ambroxan and you have geranium. Those are some of the main notes in this composition. So just check it out, guys. I've talked a lot about this one because it's good. It's from the house of Louis Vuitton, and this is called La Mansate. All right, guys, this next fragrance, I'll reserve this one. If you're going out to like a five-star restaurant, uh, you know, regardless of what it is, a nice steak, uh, a steak restaurant or something like that, you know, again, where you have to be a little bit more dressed up, this is what you want to wear. This is what you want to smell like because you're going to smell sophisticated and masculine and manly. And you need a fragrance like that in your wardrobe when going out on a date. And this is from the house of Frederick Mall, and this is called French Lover. French Lover, man. Simply put, this is super woody, spicy, and green. Those are kind of like the main accords 
uh, three accords in this fragrance. And again, it just smells absolutely phenomenal. It's very masculine and manly, but again, very well put together. Like I said, perfect for, you know, more of a dressed up occasion if you're gonna be going out on a date. Guys, put this in your life. If you haven't smelled this one, if you smell Creed Spice and Wood, or if you smell fragrance, a fragrance like Sycamore from Chanel, those three fragrances all, to me, kind of fit the same, very, well, very similar scent profile. So check it out, it's from the house of Frederick Mall. Again, this is called French Lover. All right, guys, this next fragrance features some of my favorite notes, rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. And it's from the house of Initial Parfums, and this is Side Effect. Side Effect. I've always said, if you just sometimes listen to the name of a fragrance, it will give away its intention. And I am 100% certain that if you listen to the name of this one, you would understand exactly what this fragrance was created for. It is a perfect date night fragrance. I don't have to go into much. It's all in the name. But check it out. It's from the House of Initial Parfums. And again, this one is called Side Effect. All right, guys, this next fragrance, I think I'm going to make you guys happy about this because I talk about Killian and Straight to Heaven Extreme all the time, but don't sleep on this one, the original by Killian Straight to Heaven. Like, this is way, a lot more accessible, obviously, than the discontinued Straight to Heaven Extreme, so you can actually find this one out there on the market, and I mean, obviously, they smell almost just alike. Again, Straight to Heaven Extreme, and they've amped up the, the rum in that one, they amped up the cedar, but those notes are still present in the original. So just because you can't get straight to heaven extreme, try straight to heaven. This is, <laughs> this again, this is what the list is about. Perfect date night fragrance, all right? You're definitely gonna smell different. You're gonna stand out. This is a very, very, very sexy fragrance. Rum, dried fruits, cedar wood. Again, patchouli, perfect guys. Very alluring, very inviting. Now, this is going to give you a little bit of mystery. You know what I mean? So check this one out, guys. Like I said, I know you, it's hard to get straight to heaven extreme, but this is just as good, honestly. Not quite the performer, uh, but it's just as good, obviously, from the house of Killian. Again, this is called Straight to Heaven. All right, guys, in these last two fragrances I want to talk about needs no introduction on this channel. How about let's just show the bottles. From the house of the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. Hypnotizing Fire, it is all in the name Smoke and Spices. Oh my gosh. That's, that pimento allspice note in here is just, it, with the smokiness under undercurrent of smokiness in this fragrance, it's just perfect. It's all in the name. Check it out. It's from the house of the Harmonist. This is Hypnotizing Fire. All right, if you really want to be boss and you really want her to be all over you, this next, next fragrance on this channel, again, is one I talk about a lot, so I won't go much into it, but it's from the house of Amazing Francis Kirkjohn, and this is Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood, and again, that's exactly what it does. It sets the mood off right. Sets the mood off right. You have rose, Bulgarian rose. Uh, there's another variety, rose de mine, maybe. Two varieties of rose in here. And then of course you have the note of oud. If you haven't smelled it yet, what are you waiting for? Get it in your life. It's from the house of Amazing Francis Kirk John. And again, this is one of my absolute favorites. This is oud satin mood. All right, gentlemen, that is it. That is my time, man. I gave you 10, perfect 10 out of 10 date night fragrances. What are some fragrances you have in your collection that you think are really great for a date night? I would love to hear what you guys have to say down there in the comment section. But that's all I have for you today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to this video. I know you didn't have to watch, but you did. And sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, man, I appreciate it. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.